So hello YouTube, this is another video I'm doing about another custom bound comic that I had made. Hope you enjoy it. This time around I'm going to be combining Volume 3 of the New 52 Aquaman and Volume 3 of the New 52 Justice League. Both of those are called Throne of Atlantis and as we go through the video you'll see why I'm getting them custom bound. Uh, quick warning, there's quite a lot of images and screen grabs and things like that in this video because I actually had this custom bound done before I actually started making YouTube videos. Um, however, there will be a lot of footage at the end showing the finished product. So let's have a look at Justice League. This is volume three, called Throne of Atlantis. That's the front, and that's the back. Quite like the image on that. If you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see there, it actually says what issues are in it, which is Justice League's issues 13 to 17, Aquaman issues 15 to 16. Looking over to Aquaman now, so volume three of that is also called Throne of Atlantis. And there's the back of that. And if you scroll down to the back, you will see that actually covers Aquaman 0, 14 to 16, and Justice League, 15 to 17. So you can see there's going to be a fair bit of double dipping if I was to have both volumes in my collection, specifically to the tune of three issues of Justice League or a couple of issues of Aquaman. So I wasn't really keen on having that in my collection because I do take a fair bit of pride in my new 52. So I thought I'll get a custom bind done and get a custom dust jacket made. On that note, I found this really cool set of images of DC Peel logos. For those of you that know, the Peel logo was the one used during the New 52 era. I don't know if this is concept art or what it was actually used for, but it looks pretty cool. I think I'm gonna use these in the future. So let's get into the video itself. If you look at this here, you'll see it starts off with the Aquaman embossed hardcover front because I actually built this into my Aquaman hardcover rather than my Justice League one. If you look at the slipcase, uh, sorry, no, the dust jacket there, uh, you'll see this is the standard Aquaman Volume 3 Throne of Atlantis dust jacket. And the spine similarly follows through with that pattern and idea. I kept the normal logo on the spine because it matches the rest of mine. Um, as a rear cover, I actually picked the rear of the Justice League tray paperback because I prefer that artwork. And then I just made up some blur that sort of combines the two. Here in the issues, you'll see that actually it contains contains Justice League's issues 13 to 17 and that unique DC logo as well. So by making this, uh, I've actually put the two issues of Justice League that are necessary for the story in here. So if you look at that, you'll see the very first page you open up is the title page for the Aquaman hardcover, volume three, Throne of Atlantis. Because I did actually start with the Aquaman hardcover and just insert the Justice League pages as needed. As you can see there, it starts with Aquaman volume, or uh, issue zero rather. And if we scroll through, we'll get to the end of issue zero, which is where I actually did what I call the insertion of the Justice League issues. So you'll see here, Aquaman zero ends with that splash page there. And then you've got the title page from Justice League, volume three, Throne of Atlantis. So this is actually going to be issues um, 13 and 14. Of Justice League get inserted here so it's in the right chronological order uh, and then the last page there you see there we've got Justice League which is the opening page and then that's what you'd get in the trade paperback or the hardcover version you turn that page and you've got the title page here saying Throne of Atlantis I decided to keep the title page because it looks quite cool so the next two issues which is issues 13 and 14 of Justice League are pretty cool uh, it's a cheetah story, it's a bit random, the artwork is obviously very good, um, but it does end on an important note, which is the kiss scene all around the world, spoiler warning, um, and you will see that Batman is obviously, here we are, deeply unimpressed by that. So that's the end of the Justice League insertions, and then the rest of the volume is just a standard Aquaman volume, so literally this was a case of sliding two issues that I needed to make up the whole Throne of Atlantis story into this hardcover, and then I could throw away all the ones in the other volume, in this case Justice League, because it would have meant I was double dipping. So you'll see there, I've got the rest of the pages in there, and then we just have the final bonus artwork and cover gallery, and then the back of the dust jacket again. So I hope you enjoyed, that's a quick video on a particular custom bind, something I call a custom redaction or custom insertion, which is when you get things that are double dips and you just tidy up the chronology and tighten them up. Um, as always, guys, please like, comment, subscribe. If you're on any of the Facebook groups like Omnibros Live or Gem Mint Collectibles, it'd be amazing if you could share this video video more widely. And uh, as always, please, you could check out Amazon.com. 
check out my novel No Gods or Kings, which is a book about comic books and superheroes. There's three episodes out at the moment. Each one costs less than a dollar, and it'd be amazing if you could support it. Thanks very much.